The French are an ethnic group living in Western Europe. Their ancestors were Celts, Germanics, and Romans, and they speak French, which is a Latin language. Other Latin languages are similar to French. For example, according to Babel, French and Spanish are 75% similar. The French, just like the rest of Western Europeans, descend from European hunter-gatherers who inhabited Europe first, Anatolian Neolithic farmers who brought farming into Europe, and the Indo-European steppe pastoralists who eventually spread all these Celtic, Germanic, and Latin languages into Europe. For this video, I analyzed 36 French individuals from France. The data was gathered by a Discord friend of mine using Twitter. Let's begin dissecting the results. The most common predicted phenotypes among the 36 French samples were Alpinid, Nordic, and Mediterranean, and four samples scored Volgid as their closest phenotype. No other phenotypes were observed among the French. The most common eye color among the French was hazel and brown, although a significant minority of the French samples studied also scored lighter eye colors. Not a single sample scored dark brown eye color. The most common hair color among the French was dark brown and one sample scored red hair and no sample scored black hair. The most common skin color among the French was olive and a significant minority of samples scored white and even palest skin tone. No sample scored light or dark brown skin. The most common hair texture among the French was curly followed by wavy hair and no sample scored kinky as their predicted hair texture. The most common nose shape among the French was Greek, which is an aquiline, long and narrow nose shape. Regarding their dopaminergic profile, the French were strongly predisposed to a lesser number of dopamine D2 receptors, which would strongly predispose them to such conditions as ADHD and offer some protection from bipolar and schizophrenia. The French studied had slightly below average genetic predisposition to bipolar type 1 and average predisposition to ADHD. The French studied had a strong predisposition to autism, which is typical of Eurasians. The overwhelming majority of the French samples analyzed were predicted to be lactose persistent. The French had some predisposition to a higher level of empathy, and not a single sample scored below average for the level of empathy. Regarding muscle type and athletic ability in the ACTN3 gene, the French had a genotype distribution typical of Europeans. The frequency of risk variance for neural tube defects in PAX3 gene were roughly the same in the French population as in Europeans, but visibly lower than in non-European populations. The French studied had some predisposition to epithelial cancers and high roads of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotype. The French also showed a very strong predisposition to multiple sclerosis and type 1 diabetes, but not to metabolic type 2 diabetes. The French also had a very strong genetic predisposition to rheumatoid arthritis. The French were overall predisposed to lower odds of obesity, average levels of LDL cholesterol, average levels of vitamin D, and roughly average height. Three of the 36 samples were predicted to have an extremely elevated level of iron in the blood, which indicates a predisposition to hemochromatosis. The most common blood type among the French was type O, followed by type A, followed by type B, and two samples were predicted to belong to blood type AB. Make sure you read the description of the video for links to research data and uh, links to buy my trade predictor executable.